What's going on guys? It's Steven back with another video and an epic series that we are going to be booting up today. What is it you might ask? It is the Pokemon Scarlet and Violet 151 completion. Let's get into it. Okay, we flipped you guys over to the Eagle Eye Binder View. We have ourselves a big massive binder 4x4 because we are going to need a lot of spots in a binder to complete this master set. This is going to be the completion or road to completion of the Pokemon Scarlet and Violet 151 English set, which is a recently released set if you're watching this anywhere near the release of this video. This is the first time, the very first time, I want to master set a set. Why do you might ask? It's Generation 1. I grew up with Generation 1. I just love the set, the concept, only Generation 1. This just hits the spot for me. It's the best set of the year by a mile for me. That is obviously personal opinion. You might differ from that. Leave it in the comments down below as usual. But this is the very first time I am attempting to complete a set while it just releases because I have been trying to collect certain sets, but those aren't recent set or might be a little bit more recent, but just aren't available at stores anymore to buy in massive quantities. So 151 obviously just came out. It's a brand new set. Products are hitting the shelves everywhere. So they're very much available. So we will be looking to complete the set in the next like six months or so. We will see how long it actually takes us. It's very, it's going to be a challenge. I'm not going to lie. It's going to be a challenge, but I'm not willing to commit to that. So there will probably be a point where I'm going to want to stop opening 151 because I will have a tremendous amount of duplicates and the prices of the singles are just a lot better in favor of actually trying to pull everything. So there will probably be a point where I will consider buying single or trading, whatnot. Other means that opening the packs and pulling the, the cards myself that I would be missing. If for some reason we get extremely lucky with our pulls and not pull duplicate after duplicate, we might be able to complete this without actually buying. But... As you can see, we we briefly went through the binder. Now we're at the point where the regular set stops and we have entered the AR section, the full arts, and the secret illustration where rares. We finish off with a page with the energies and then we get some promos, the ETB promos, and then we are probably just gonna add some duplicates here and the additional promos from the boxes and other f uh, products that are connected with the release of 151 or have the 151 uh, the 151 packs in it so we have a couple polls here so this th these videos this series will mainly be about me filling out the binder talking about what polls we gotten or the polls that we might still need i am already gonna pull put this snorlax into the binder while we are talking about adding stuff to the binder, obviously this is not a completion because the promo is obviously guaranteed and the promo is just an additional thing that I'm putting in this binder. We have four new pulls. We've already sorted out the regular cards and the reverse hollows that we are, or that we pulled that we didn't have yet. So that's already taken care of. Now, for the purpose of this video, we will be adding these additional four pulls. So we will be doing these kind of videos every couple of weeks, maybe once a month, because I don't want to be doing these too frequently where we just have like one or two pulls, which is not really that exciting to add to the binder because I have obvi I'm obviously not opening a mass amount of quantity in terms of packs like on a regular basis. It's more of like a week, a one a week type of thing. So with all that being said and done, let's just add these four additional cards that we've got. We've got the regular Wigglytuffy X, which is part of the regular set and not the end of the secret rares or the secret rares that come after the regular set. Wigglytuff number 40, so we have to go way, 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 way back to add the Wigglytuff 
We have the Jigglypuff, so here comes the Jigglypuff reverse. And then the Wigglytuff EX comes in before the Zubat. That is nice, nice, nice. We have the Caterpie AR, the Venusaur EX. I'm sorry if I potentially went off screen there. Um, I will be trying to keep these cards on screen. So obviously massive pull with the Venusaur Full Art. I mean, Venusaur Full Art, maybe not that massive, but it's a nice pull nonetheless. And then we have the freaking Zapdos. Like, oh my God, dude, this is such a clean car. Are gonna be having like a little bit of the lighting on there. Nice. Obviously my favorite Pokemon is the Articuno. So I actually refer to this card as an Articuno EX and not as Abdos EX. <laughs> Anyways, let's put these in. This series will, will also include potential clips that we might have captured from the polls that we do end up making. So I might be popping those clips up on the screen anywhere throughout the video or maybe if we're discussing a certain card that we are holding. Let's try and find the actual space for this Caterpie because we have 177, 176, five four three two so the first pokemon on this page is the caterpie ar nice that goes right in there then the venusaur full art actually comes after the ar so 177 878 79 80 81 82 i am so so hoping that I haven't messed up anywhere along the binder because if I do end up finding a mistake in the binder we are going to have to shuffle all of these cards throughout the binder to get them to the right positions 202 I don't think we have any oh we do have the Giovanni's Charisma which is nice 97 98 99 200 201 202 Nice. That is such a satisfying card to add to the binder in episode one, guys. I'm a big fan of that reverse regulation. Oh. Well, I'm not gonna lie. That's, that's, that's my favorite golden. legendary dog. That's golden. Yeah, you pulled uh you pulled dual uh No Let's fucking go! So we are also going to be discussing throughout the series how many packs we are opening. At the end we can wrap up this series with a compilation of how many packs that we open to complete the binder for example how many products or what products that we purchase to actually complete the binder but we're not going to drag it out for too much longer guys this was episode one expect episode two to take a while because like i mentioned before we're not opening up a ton of products at a rapid pace so stay tuned for the series, subscribe to the channel, leave a like if you enjoy these type of videos and this type of content, leave it all in the comments down below. If you like 151, if you're doing for the completion yourself, whatever it may be, whatever you might want to share, leave it in the comments down below. And without further ado, I'm going to get out of here. Thank you guys for watching the video and see you on the next one. Bye-bye.